accumulated profits and losses. <clears throat> this is very similar. In fact, it is exactly the same. Adjustment is exactly the same as that we did in case of admission of a partner. What do we do? Reserves account debit to all partners capital accounts in their old profit sharing ratio. Old ratio. But sometimes only the retiring partner's capital account is credited. The remaining reserves the firm wants to retain in the balance sheet. In that case, we could pass an entry reserves account debit to retiring partner's capital account with only his share, retiring partner's share. However, care should be taken to see that the profit sharing ratio remains the same between the remaining partners. If that is the same, we can do this reserves account debit to retiring partner's capital account. Take only his share and credit the retiring partner's capital account. <clears throat> Let us take an example. A, B and C, they are equal partners and A retires. Balance in the general reserve account amounts to 1,50,000. So what are the entries that we could pass? The entries we would pass are 1, general reserve account debit, 1,50,000 to A, to B and to C in their old profit sharing ratio, 50,000, 50,000 and 50,000. This is 1. Next. Since A is retired and nothing is mentioned about the A and the remaining partners, it is assumed that B and C will continue to share profits in the same ratio between them, that is equally. In such a case, we can also pass the entry general reserve account debit with only A's share 50,000 to A's capital 50,000. So this was alternative 1 and this is alternative 2. This works because the profit sharing ratio between the remaining partners is the same before retirement and after retirement. <clears throat> Yet another option would be reserves account debit to all partners in the old ratio and if Reserve needs to be maintained in the balance sheet, then remaining partner's capital account debit to reserves. A, B and C are equal partners. A retires. B and C agree to a profit sharing ratio of 2 is to 3. Now the ratio has changed. Balance in the reserve account amounts to 1,50,000. What would be the entry for adjustment of general reserve, assuming general reserve is to be retained in the balance sheet? What would we do then? We could pass an entry, write off what is there, general reserve account debit to A, to B, to C. 1,50,000, 50,000, 50,000 and 50,000. This is old ratio. Then what do we do? Then we take the new ratio. What is the new ratio? 2 is to 3. So what do we do? We create a general reserve. Well, A has retired. So B account debit, C account debit, 2 general reserve. We need general reserve of 150,000. 1 lakh 50,000 ratio is 2 by 3. Therefore, it would become 60,000 and 90,000. That is 2 by 5 of 1,50,000 and 3 by 5 of 1,50,000. This is the same thing as crediting the retiring partner's account and debiting the remaining partner's capital accounts in their sacrificing ratio. The effect is the same. 
So we have done three methods of writing off of the accumulated profits. If there were accumulated losses, we would do the same thing, but retiring partner's capital account would be debited. Profit and loss account, debit balance would be credited to close the account. <clears throat> this also would be done in the old profit sharing ratio of all partners. <clears throat>